Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Wake HD. We got Din's Pearl, and we got Pharaoh's Pearl. And get trying to get the last one, which was supposed to be here at Great Fish Isle. But Great Fish Isle has been destroyed now. Very destroyed. And apparently the pearl is now on a home island of Outset. Which means that this Outset could suffer the same fate as this island. And the only way we can go get it now, is if we actually go to Windfall Island, with the town on it, to find out if what the pirates know, so that we can actually get to the Pearl on Outset. So we need to sail for a bit now, over to this island over here, which I didn't get the map for, which is strange. But I'll need some rubber to do that once I actually get over there. I also need to change the wind direction, so I'm actually going to get there faster. So let's do that. And also, what now that, now that we're at this point in the story, it's just going to be stormy until we get the last pearl, I guess. But yeah, it's just, it's really cool having the storm. And also the music change is different now. Now, it looks like we're going to reach an island that we should know about based on our charts in front of us. So we might check that out. Uh, and by check it out, I probably just mean get the map for up and then leave. Since we're in a hurry. Man, this music is really cool. Okay, I missed that this small island over here. Oh, but there's a shark in the water. That's not what I was trying to press. Oh no, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can get rid of the shark with our boomerang, which I don't think I've ever done that before. It actually dropped a rupee as well, which would have fl flown over to me if I had stayed still, but I'm moving on, so. You can also press the ZR button to dodge its attack by jumping. But anyway, there's the fish over there. And this is actually a special island, because it's Tingle Island, but we have problems at the moment. Also, I see that dancing mailbox, so I'm going to get that quickly as well while I'm here. Everything's happening. Good evening. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here is your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me, Orca. And he gives us a red rupee. What a pleasant surprise. So yeah, we need to collect the, uh... uh the, the knight's crest for that. Also, this tower has chews at the bottom and a moblin head here all carved in. And then there are fairies up here. And then, of course, it's Tingle's head and at the very top, which we can't see very well from here, but anyway. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Next time, bring me some of my favorites. A chart I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit here at Tingle Tower again. Where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Yeah, musical, magical fairy magic, otherwise known as your brothers just pushing the thing around. Um, you have a tingle bottle, to, do you not? Uh, no. If you're really not a fan of it, do not worry about such things. The tingle bottle is... It is sort of complicated, I suppose. No, no, do not get... Go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it is quite amusing, the tingle bottle, I mean. But no, really. I would not expect you to... He... Ho. I mean, we can't use it, so... Heave ho. Uh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. But this guy has another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Heave ho. Well, anyway, I want to get out of here quickly, so let's backflip off of that. And over here is a sign, but also a blue chew, which is electrified, so we can't touch it while it's not stunned. But 
Blue Chews have a special Blue Chew Jelly, and there are only 10 of them in the overworld, and each one only drops their Blue Chew Jelly once. So, deep within Blue Chew Chews is a gelatinous essence that is said to bring be magical cure-all. But unfortunately, it can't be used in its current form. At least I'm pretty sure it can only be used once. I might be wrong about that. But still, it's a fairly rare thing to get, so... The way to Northern Fairy Island is to the north. Increase your fortune. Well, I guess I could do that, but I... Other matters to attend to. Which I really should go do now. Also, I'm going to quickly get out some more bait so I can do that. As well. Let us continue on. Where's the fish? Over there. Okay, let's do that. So we can get the map of this place. Oi, small fry. Tingle Island. It also kind of looks like his head. Or his face. I don't know. Let me tell you a little bit of uh, something about th that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps uh, like nobody's business. It just does to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it com comes time to pay his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who does not, doesn't not does have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. And that's all I've all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to get... Yeah, okay. With that, he's off. Let's keep going because we need to hurry up. I think... I think that's the island over there, based on the, sh the shape of the sh shadow on the horizon. It's a very difficult to see it. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Let me check the map. Actually, no, that's not it. I think it's actually... Maybe? Hang on. Am I crazy? Oh, no, that is actually... That is actually the island, and um, we do have the map for it. I'm crazy. It's fine. I know what I'm talking about. I just didn't zoom in on it enough because it looks like a completely different shape when you don't zoom in on it. But anyway, so that's where we need to go. Man, this song has uh, Ganon's castle tower theme inside of it, which is really cool from Ocarina of Time. We're getting closer. <laughs> Probably. Almost there. Stuff is starting to load in. And actually, we can see something else there. Which is obviously from the outline the pirate ship. So they're definitely there. There's also a fish that I, I, I could check what information he's got, but probably don't need to. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Okay. I don't know exactly what... They want me to do, but I'm sure that a townsperson might tell me. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Not that there's really anyone here right now. But maybe if I go up 
here into the the cafe. Maybe somebody will be here to tell me. The lights on the top of the on the ceiling are moving. That's weird looking to me. Anyway. It's true, 100% true. I've seen it myself. A stern looking pirate ship sailing full speed towards this little town. I swear on the sea. Is it true that pirates have invaded our peaceful little island? That's terrible news. What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? Just run. Now, let's see, say, just for a moment, that pirates actually did come ashore. What would they want with a peaceful village like this? Tell me that, laddie. Money, obviously. What's this sign? It says, help wanted. For light products, sorting, etc. Pay depends on experience. Inquire at the Dragon Roost Island Mailing Center. Might have to check that out at some point. Also, I don't think I can read the stuff up here. Maybe I can. No. Okay, but we can break everything. Now, what about you guys over here? Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, the, those pirates were just looking for a little re relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas. Have you heard? There are pirates here on the island, this island, right now. Well, that's what they say anyway. Me? I don't believe it. Wow, nobody here actually says what the, to do. I know what to do, but I don't know if... I want to find out if there's actually anything that tells you where to go. There probably is. I mean, there's a pirate ship right there, so I could check that. But also... I don't know. Let me go up here. I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over towards the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? That's a good question. I guess you're the person I was supposed to find. It also It's also interesting to see some of the flavor text that the NPCs have as well. So this is actually the bomb shop over here. We're closed today, so scram now. Okay, is there actually a sign that says that this is the bomb shop? Probably. Oh yeah, the sign up there. Can't actually read it, but it has a picture of a bomb on it. Okay, now, let's sidle along here. Because we can actually get around the back of this place. You can also peek around corners when we're sidling against a wall. Like that. Although it doesn't really help us, because we can't really turn around the wall. There's also another way back. Onto the little area, main area over here if we wanted to do that. Anyway, I think we've maxed out our 500 rupees. I don't think I can fit any more rupees in my wallet, which is a shame. But let's go into this little hole up here. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely got to have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh. Oh yeah. That was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm making this... Uh, I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown so such wit, such cunning. 
You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quick goofing off, you two. Both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done la loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What, miss? We have to, we have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we we're on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good old, <laughs> good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I meant to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what we, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but they, by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye aye! Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Marco, are you serious? You to forgot already? You're so clueless. Useless. Today's password is treasure, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right, and he's real picky about it. So I'll say it once more. Today's password is treasure, yeah? Treasure, eh? Well, I'm sure the hostage that they have won't mind hearing the password, I guess. He probably won't even get discovered. Nobody comes to the bomb shop ever, so... But anyway, let's hop down here. We can't actually get any of these bombs here. But we can actually go back here, which is pretty cool, with all the barrels and stuff. There's a lot of rupees, apparently, but in here. Not in that one, though. That's weird. But anyway. Hello, tied-up guy. Can't talk to you. I'm sure you don't mind that, though. Yeah, have some food. You just have to crawl on the floor to get it. And also get that thing off your mouth. I'll leave that to you. But anyway, we need to get that treasure of bombs that they have, I guess, on their ship. And they shouldn't be there because they've all gone to town. I don't know if we can actually see them in town, though. Uh, so I'm just gonna hop over this way. And go into their ship, because there's only Nico here. What do pirates love more than the sea? Um, uh, the password is, if I could actually enter it, that'd be nice. Uh, it's not gonna let me enter it. Hang on. I thought it was saying that it needed the gamepad, but no, actually, it's just the D-pad. Why do you just want me to use the D-pad and not control stick? It's fine. Anyway, we need to put in the password, which is, of course, treasure with a capital T. I'm pretty sure it's very, sen it, he's very specific about it being... I can't spell, uh, tre treasure, tre tre treasure, tre treasure, tre treasure, is that treasure? I don't know, I can't spell. Let me just try it out because I can't remember. Right, right, you may enter. Cool. It looked wrong for some reason, but that might just be my brain. Anyway, we're back inside. 
I can actually check Tetra's cabin now. Got some interesting stuff in here to look at, I guess. Lots of jewelry, apparently. Also, a picture of the hero from the, the Legends. Which looks a lot like Link, doesn't it? I guess. Well, that's the point of him dressing up like this. Now, there's also this... Uh, can I actually... Yes, I can. There's also this map, question mark, with the Triforce drawn on it. And it's also got... I think that's Outset Island on the bottom left. I can't tell what the other islands are, though. But it's interesting that this is here. Also, a thing up there. Can't really see it very well from here, but there's a painting on the up wall up there, which is also part of the the legend that was told at the beginning of the story. So I feel like that is that like a mirror, or is that supposed to actually have a picture in it? I don't know. But anyway, I think that's everything, other than the picture of flowers, the globe, swords on the wall. I just wanted to look around in here because it's pretty cool. But anyway, now let's go down to see Nico. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive! All the other parts said you were got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind, what I thought, what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after that, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you to, uh, to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up from... When you hit the press the switch, platforms rose up from for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this time, there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from uh, one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. <laughs> and that's not all. This time I've put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but I'll, it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time and you have to try it again, little swabby. The switch that opens this, the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, swabby. I bet he doesn't think I would get there in a thousand years. Well, funny story. Um, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm gonna... Uh, that was just a practice... No, that was just a practice run. Uh, I've tried to, time to reset and do the first run. Right, right. Uh, just after a few more practice runs. Oh boy. Okay got this. I just need to turn. I can't turn with the right stick, which is strange. Please grab, please grab, please grab, please grab. Oh my gosh. Can I actually get... I think I can actually grab to this one from there, which is surprising because if I jump off of an edge, it, it means I'm able to go slightly up and still grab, but I made it. See, I told you. The first one was just practice. The second one was my pro skills. What? You gotta be... Ah, uh, you did it already. You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I've never been e even past this test. How could he possibly do it so quickly? But you made it to... Ah, uh, never mind. It's fine. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? I don't know. Just... It's just skill. And if you give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. 
Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? He did make it to this room, so he must have passed the test, but anyway. Once again, we get a treasure chest in here, which of course has... The bomb, so you can carry up to 30. Pull one out and then press A to throw it or ZR to set it at your feet. Try it out. It's a blast. Using bombs while you're on your boat gives you a mighty cannon. You can use it to fight off sea going enemies. So you set it, set them to, and use them with the, the buttons. That's mighty courageous of you trying to steal the treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give such things much thought, do you? You're just, you just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat, like Nito Nico, behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of your island where you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find your boon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You'd better be quick, kid. Okay, okay. Also, do you have anything else to say? Wow, awesome! You have a stone just like that one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. And definitely did it this challenge first try. After a practice run, of course. That's just how it works. Anyway, let's get out of this boat, the ship. And let's sail away to outset because we need to get there before the pirates and also before it gets destroyed because we don't want that either. So I guess I can just hop off wherever just by doing that. Now is my boat still here? No. King of Red Lions has moved himself just because that's what he does. So over here also the post, post box is dancing again. Good evening. Here's your letter. Notice from Beetle's shop ship. It's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle shop ship, ship chart. Visit a beetle shop near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity, beetle. You got beetle's chart. Now you know where to find beetle's floating ship sh shop ships. Open the chart on the map screen to view it. So yes, now we can go to our charts and check the beetle chart. And now we can see all the islands that beetle sails around. And also a special looking beetle with a helmet. So we might have to go to that at some point. And actually... Where is that? It's not that far away, I guess. So I could do that. Now. It also, of course, sells bombs now, which we can also get from drops in... Pots. Uh... Barrels, that kind of thing. And maybe even grass sometimes. But anyway. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates... Won't be leaving until morning. How do you know about that? You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us not delay any longer. Link. Okay. Let's go. I need to change the wind direction. But also... I'm a little bit confused. 
Also, I think in this version, the HD version, you can actually activate uh, the the grapple grappling hook and also the bombs just by D-pad automatically, which is cool. So yeah, we can now aim around with our bombs to fire at them. That's actually really useful that you can do that from using by using the D-pad in this version, because in the original version, you just had to set it to one of the the item spots. But anyway, let's figure out where I'm going on the map first. I guess that way is as good as any. And now let's change the wind direction. Oh my goodness, okay, that way. So let's go. I'm gonna go check out that beetle shop, and then we're gonna go way down south to outset, so. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.